News title, Justifying the Use of Artificial Sweeteners, A Different Perspective. TL, DR, amidst various health-related controversies, artificial sweeteners have recently been subjected to a reassessment. The conventional skepticism is being challenged by fresh scientific insight, demonstrating potential benefits alongside the typically highlighted risks. In a climate of health consciousness, the dialogue surrounding artificial sweeteners has frequently veered towards the negative, spurred by concerns about potential health risks. However, a new perspective is challenging this narrative, urging for a more nuanced understanding of these sugar substitutes. The term artificial sweeteners brings to mind an array of substances, aspartame, sucralose, and saccharin, to name a few. Known for their intense sweetness and minimal caloric impact, they have long been integral to diet plans and diabetes management strategies. However, they also carry a stigma linked to potential health risks, primarily stemming from laboratory studies involving high-dose exposure in animals. But, how reflective are these studies of human consumption patterns? A reappraisal of this contentious topic is afoot, championing the idea that these sweeteners might not be the dietary villains they are often portrayed as. Could it be that the science of sweeteners has been viewed too narrowly, skewing perceptions towards the negative? Historically, research on artificial sweeteners has faced criticism, due to its limited scope and focus on extreme consumption cases. Modern researchers argue for a more pragmatic approach, considering real-world dietary habits rather than extrapolating from extreme laboratory conditions. This includes taking into account the relatively low quantities of these sweeteners typically consumed by humans and the potential benefits they offer, especially for individuals managing conditions like diabetes or obesity. However, this perspective is not a blanket endorsement of artificial sweeteners. Like any dietary component, balance and moderation are key. Unrestricted consumption is not advised, but neither is an outright ban. As our understanding evolves, the dialogue must shift from outright skepticism to nuanced understanding. We should question if the negative reputation of these sweeteners is largely driven by alarmist narratives, rather than comprehensive scientific analysis. Looking to the future, a continued and broadened scientific investigation into artificial sweeteners is required. This involves not just assessing potential risks but also considering the benefits they may confer when used sensibly. Could this be the turning point in the saga of artificial sweeteners? It's clear that the story of artificial sweeteners is far from over. As science progresses, so must our understanding, approach, and, ultimately, our judgment. As we stride towards the future of dietary health, can we develop a more balanced perspective of artificial sweeteners? First seen at Medscape, 